for fun, just for fun, just for fun. If this was m, del m, del y, what would that be? Negative 1. And then del n, del x, 1. One. So it's not exact. Can we make it exact? Probably. I don't know. I don't want to find out. We've only got 9 minutes. Let's go ahead and... and, and, and you can. Um, by the way, these are both homos of degree 1, right? This is homogeneous of degree 1. This is homogeneous of degree 1. You can tell, right? You plug in tx and ty, you can pull out the t. Plug in tx, you can pull out the t. It's homogeneous of degree 1. Yeah? What if there's a different degree on the y? Do they all have to be the same degree? Yeah, they do, pretty much, yeah. Usually it's obvious. Um, okay, uh, so now uh, we have to pick. Should we let y equal ux or x equal vy? What's easier in this case? Y equals ux. Yeah, because then, then dy is easier. Let's do that. So we're going to let y equal ux. And then in this case, uh, I'll write it here. So dy would be uh, u dx plus x du. Right? Plus x du. So we'll, we'll make that substitution. Good stuff. Feels easy. Hope get right. So y equals the ux, and then dy, okay? And then we're carefully going to make the substitution after we do that, right? So we have x, x is still x. But what's y? Ux. ux. And then dx is just dx plus, it's a great marker, plus x. And then dy is this beast, right? <laughs> so the u t x plus x to u, right? So it's not that bad. This is, the, this is like number one in the homework, I think. So x to u, it's like oh, the easy, yeah, 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 it's the easy. And all of this is equal to zero. Zero. Yeah. 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 It's not that bad. But you got to be really careful here when you multiply stuff through. All right. So let's see. So everyone see what we did? We replaced y with u x, and then and then and then and then dy with that. You got it? Okay. Got it? No, 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 no. We're just starting. <laughs> no, Hunter, no. So, so we have to multiply distribute x dx. <laughs> and this is minus ux dx. And this would be x u dx. Beautiful. Yeah, x squared du. Good stuff. And usually stuff cancels or it simplifies. You know, things work out nicely usually on these. Uh, don't fret. Don't say, oh my god, it's too much stuff. No, take your time. You know, just look at it. Does anything go away? Oh, good. If it didn't, then I'd be worried. Yeah, so, so it goes away. So usually stuff cleans up really nicely on these. Expect a wreck on these. Expect to get them wrong sometimes. It's okay, you know. It's not... Partial credit, right? Yeah, partial credit. And, you know, yeah. And don't feel discouraged when you're doing the homework. All right, this is separable. So maybe just uh, uh, subtract the x squared du, maybe? I don't know. Uh, so x dx equals negative x squared du. And uh, looks like we have um, too many x's here. I have to divide by this, don't I? Yeah. Now I'm going to leave the negative over here, because I don't want the negative over here, because that's going to give me a negative 1 over x when I divide. So I'm going to divide by x squared. Divide by x squared. Okay. Come over here. And then this is going to give us... It's going to give us dx over x equals negative, d u. negative du. Right? Did it right? Yep. Mm -hmm. And then we're integrating. So we integrate this guy. We get ln absolute value of x equals negative what? Negative u, u plus, let's go ahead and call it C. Let's be brave. Worst case scenario, we can come back and put tildes all over the place. Right? Yes. <laughs> Tildy at all. But well, we're not done. What's missing? What, 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 what haven't we done? What's, what's u in this case? Yeah, u. What's e oh, y is equal to ux. So u is equal to y over x. Yeah, so super important. So, so ln, absolute value of x, equals negative y over x plus c. Now, I don't know if it wanted an implicit solution or an explicit one. Let's go ahead and find the explicit one because we can. On an exam situation, I'll always tell you because you're not like you know lost in limbo uh, trying to solve for the one that yeah. So what we have right now is the implicit solution. Right. Explicit means it's solved for y. Everyone heard Meredith said really good question. So so implicit means it hasn't been solved for y. Explicit means it's been explicitly solved. All right. Let's just do this. In, let's do it in two steps. Let's clear the x. X 
x, 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 x cancels x. And then um, add the y and subtract the x, l, and x in one step. So it's going to be, all right, big, it's going to be y equals. By adding the y, and then we're going to have cx minus what? Minus what? Minus x, l, and x. Good. X, l, n, absolute value of x. And that's our first homogeneous <laughs> equation. So, so you see that this, this, this here can get really crazy. There's one of the homework that has t's in it and stuff. So just be really careful. Let's go over it one more time. You see the question? It looks like it's um, exact, but it's not. You can try to make it exact, but no one likes to do that. It's too much work. So just go with the homogeneous. So call it y equals ux. The reason, uh, the reason we did y equals ux instead of x equals vy is because then we would have to foil it here and stuff. No one likes it. We just have two minutes. Let's keep going. So dy is u, dx, x to you. You, you x, x, and then y is ux, dx. Well, oh, dx is just dx. Then we have the x, then replace dy. This is our dy. It goes here. We still, still time, so there's dy. This is x, x. So we have negative ux, dx, negative ux, dx. x, u, dx, x, u, dx. And then column, instead of good call column, x squared dx. The middle terms cancel. du, x squared du, it's a verbal mistake in kids' account. So these go away. So these go away. We're left with x, dx, we subtract with this guy. Okay, here we divided by x squared, right? I kept the negative here because I didn't want it here with the ln, right? No one wants that. So I left it over here. Integrate. Integrate is a 1 here, so you get u. This is y over x, and then multiply by x. x, x cancels x. x, it cancels x. Add the y, subtract the x, ln x, and we get that as the final answer. Yes? So how do we know to approach a problem with this process rather 